Let's take a look at the education and licensure. I'd like to share a, a quote with you by Dr. Ziegler, who's an orthopedic spine surgeon at the Texas Back Institute. There are a lot of myths about chiropractic care. I decided to look into each of these myths, and what I found is that chiropractic education, side by side, is more similar to medical education than it is dissimilar. So I wanted to take a bit of time to explore these similarities and differences between the curriculums. If we look at, in broad categories, the, uh, the chiropractic curriculum, we can divide it into two parts. First, the basic sciences, which are the same basic sciences that a medical doctor will go through in his education. We use the same textbooks. It's essentially the same. I personally, I teach in the anatomy uh, lab at, here at McGill, and I can tell you that the anatomy is the same. The, the, the education is really the same. The second category we could look at is the clinical sciences. Again, it's the, 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 the systems of the body, the same uh, ologies that you're, you're familiar with. Major difference in the curriculums is that chiropractic really focuses on the neuromusculoskeletal. So there's a big emphasis on radiology, neurology, orthopedics, and physical therapy. Also very unique to the curriculum is the uh, teaching of chiropractic skills, which I'll, I'll go through with you. And of course, there's an internship within the curriculum. If we go further and compare the hours or how much time is spent in the classroom between the two professions, we see that the average medical curriculum is 4,600 hours, chiropractic 4,800, physical therapy over 2,700, and osteopath the way that we know it in Canada. Uh, this is not the capital DO in the US or in Europe, which is a doctor of osteopathy, which is a physician trained in manipulative therapy. But as we know it in Canada, the DO is about 1,200 uh, hours. Of course, the major difference between the MD and the DC that we see on this graph is the, uh, the residency that you go through after this. And how many years do you, do you spend in residency? Many, many more hours? OK. So you can think of the chiropractic degree with the internship integrated into the hours as being very similar to dentistry. The internship allows patients to be treated by a chiropractic student. Once the degree is finished, the student obtains the title of Doctor of Chiropractic, or DC. He or she must then go through national licensing board exams and practical or oral, provincial, uh, or state board exams. After this, there also exists post-graduation degrees in different uh, fields, chiropractic rehabilitation sciences, orthopedics, chiropractic sciences, sports, radiology, neurology, nutrition, and pediatrics. There are two Canadian programs. One is at the Université du Québec at Trois-Rivières, which is a five-year program after two years of CGEP prerequisites. There's also a college in Toronto, the CMCC which is a four-year program after three years of university prerequisites.